got hit with some bad news. Liberals have made a chaos from this country, turning it into a big mass of hysteria after Trump's executive order to ban the seven Muslim countries from entering the U.S. This announcement was made on Friday and since then liberal activists are constantly making pressure on our airports shouting and comparing Trump with a terrorist. These activists have clearly no idea what a terrorist looks like. After their massive riots, Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz thought it's a good idea to announce his plan to hire 10,000 refugees to work for him. He is planning to succeed with this plan in the next five years. According to Yahoo News, We are living in an unprecedented time, one in which we are witness to the conscience of our country, and the promise of the American dream, being called into question, Dash CEO Howard Schultz. However, this nonsense plan is about to go down as Trump supporters have started to boycott Starbucks. This boycott has started today and it is spreading rapidly across the country. Share this story if you are tired of watching our jobs being given away. Boycott Starbucks Watch this new interview with this anti-Trump protester. This is a pure stupidity. As we all know, Trump's Muslim ban on Friday made the whole liberal society to act crazy and stupidly. They simply don't know or don't care if thousands of terrorists rush into our country with the whole group of immigrants. When you think about it, they don't even know the whole complexity of this problem, they just want to show their loyalty to their corrupted political leaders. However, an independent journalist went to one of the airports to hear what these mindless fools have to say. Bello, you will see how an average protester thinks. You think she is experiencing a lack of logical thinking? I think she clearly has no idea what the hell is going on there. This is nonsense. Just look the video bellow. She may have forgotten, but in 2011 Barack Obama made a far more sinister action when he made Iraqi refugees to wait outside US borders for more than six months. Back then, nobody laid a hand to this liberal president. But, she loves Obama? so his actions are always right. On the other side, she hates Trump, so whatever he does, it is wrong, incorrect. When you see, their actions are very similar, although Obama was cold as ice back then. None of this matter. Liberals will stay liberals no matter what are the surroundings. They will keep hating Trump no matter what he does. This tells a lot about their true intentions. Now we all see the power of the mainstream media. It is disastrous. Comedian Jackie Manson with a brilliant response to Madonna. Remember Madonna's shameful speech? Yeah, the one where she threatened to blow the White House. Well, that one didn't go well for her as fellow actors and people, in general, criticized her angrily. One of them is Jackie Manson, the legendary comedian who made a brilliant response to Madonna's awful speech. In an interview with Briet Bart, he called the liberal singer a yenda, a Yiddish word that basically means a gossip girl. He said, I don't know why anybody even quotes Madonna about anything that she says at all. He added here is a yenta who is out of control all her life and has lived a filthy, vulgar life all her life and said all kinds of disgusting things. I remember when she once said that she is offering oral sex to anybody who would vote for Hillary Clinton. And did you notice she didn't even get any offers? Nobody cares about anything she says because let's be honest about it. When she was singing, she sings for a hundred million people. When she talks, everybody disappears. Because everybody gets nauseous. She can't talk and still make sense at the same time he added. And this deranged Yada, she's like a walking whorehouse. First, she starts offering herself as a singer. But if you have no time to listen to her song she's ready to take her clothes off. Do whatever you want to me. She's ready to make a deal with anybody for any price, Manson said with laughter. So, all of the sudden she became an authority on what the president should do? And her political opinion became important? She doesn't know what she is talking about he finished. 
What do you think of Madonna's shameful comments? Elizabeth Warren is too old for the upcoming election. Watch the brand new statistics. One of the loudest, most vicious liberals in the Senate, Elizabeth Warren have gained political points ever since the presidential campaign started. She is well known for speaking against Trump, or should I say bragging? Well, just like many before her, Elizabeth has made some mistakes in her efforts to downgrade Trump. But, on the way she slipped and may face criminal charges. Now, Senator Warren is the head of a far-left movement in the liberal squad. And now, she got some very bad news. She should be terrified after a big radio station in Boston has announced the results of a poll in which less than 44% of the voters said that they believe in her and are willing to see her re-elected. The head of the Mass INC polling group Steve Kochula stated, no one's going to look at a 44% re-elect number and think that that's a good number. No one's going to look at it being close to even between re-elect and give someone else a chance and think that that's reassuring. She might be cool until 2018, but as we've seen, this is very troubling for her since she is going to lose a whole lot of supporters. She is done. On top of that, Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker has strongly supported the upcoming elections in 2018. Wow! Her days are definitely numbered. I bet that when the election comes, she will have less than 40% of the votes which will bring her a terrible loss. Just like her idols Hillary. Well, that happens when you can't keep your mouth shut for a second. Well done Warren, now you can go home and brag as much as you want. What do you think of this matter? Apparently Barack Obama sent back Cuban refugees two weeks ago. Where was the liberal media back then? We've all witnessed the wrath of the liberal activists, media, and politicians as soon as Trump's announcement to block the selected seven countries with a predominantly Muslim population. Yeah. They were absolutely enraged by our president's completely normal action. What about Obama's action when he was about to become a president? No, I am not talking about the six-month span in 2011. This incident happened just days before Trump's inauguration. However, Obama turned away 91 Cuban refugees two days before the inauguration, or about two weeks from now slash. Where was the media to criticize? No, they don't care what Obama does, unless he does something good for rolling a skateboard. They said absolutely nothing when Obama turned away these Cuban refugees. But, when about a hundred Middle East refugees were stopped at airports for a couple of hours, they are enraged. No mainstream media. I am enraged. Anyway, these Middle East refugees have come to the U.S. one by one. So these violent protests have turned out to be just another liberal hit on Trump. However, these 91 Cuban refugees have been accepted by Mexico before they were sent back to Cuba. Mexico's National Immigration Institute has reported on Thursday that they've accepted the Cuban refugees and sent back to Cuba by plane. The Cuban government, however, has accepted their citizens back. Shame on you Obama! What are your opinion on this matter? Papa John just revealed the truth about the business in America. John Schnatter the chief executive officer of Papa John's Pizza has a new book Papa the story of Papa John's Pizza that says something that made the American people lose their breaths, stating that the U.S. is becoming like Germany in the 19th century. He says that America is on a good way to become that way because of the strict government regulations. If you believe the wrong thing, the government will attack you. If you become successful the government will take your money. He thinks there are too many business regulations and that is the thing that is killing the economy, adding that he is not concerned about politics, but we need to give the new administration a chance to improve the status quo, and that's what drove the liberals insane. Is Papa John right? Share if you agree.